Welcome to JSA TV Live, coming to you today from the floor of Data Cloud Global Congress here in Monte Carlo, in Monaco. And I'm uh, Barb Mitchell, joining you from JSA, and joining me is Kim Gunelius, Mar um, Managing Director, newly appointed Managing Director for Vern Global. Welcome. It's great to see you again. Oh, you have your own. Thank you very much. Great to be here, Barb. Uh, nice to be interviewed uh, on different locations around the world. Yes, and we always, we, I think we follow you around the world, so it's nice, it's a pleasure. Uh, since last we spoke, you've taken on a new role as Managing Director. Tell us about that. That's correct. So I'm uh, now running Vern Global's operations in Finland. Uh, so last year we sold uh, Ficolo, which has now been uh, rebranded to Vern Global. We have uh, uh, data centers in Iceland and London, as well as the Finnish operations that I'm now running. Wow. So congratulations. So your responsibility <laughs> keeps growing bigger and bigger and you're expanding and there's been you know, so much success that uh, we've been able to watch uh, you with. And, and so I w I'm curious just to sort of jump right into one of our topics today. Uh, I think we wanted to talk about with the increasing adoption of things like AI and high performance computing, people are really wanting to find environmental ways to manage these massive workloads that, that come from this. Talk about that and, and sort of your thoughts on that. Sure, that's, that's really a hot topic for us uh, now. So um, first of all, the, uh, the amounts of the data keep growing, they're, they're really huge. And for us uh, in Finland, We've had a little bit of success in that area, but now with uh, the kind of the bigger group, uh, we're able to uh, access, shall we say, bigger opportunities. So I think there's, there's huge cases out there that uh, are looking for where to deploy. And when uh, people are thinking about where to put the big workloads, uh, the Nordics come to mind because mm -hmm. of the good access of the uh, green energy and as well as uh, the climate, so you need less power for cooling. Yeah. So it's a really great place to, to take your workloads. Yeah, well, and on that topic, um, I think you maybe had another thought there, so we can come back to it, but I wanted to just made me think of, you know, in, I think, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong here, but that Finland by 2030 will represent 10% of the EU's green hydrogen energy, is that correct? Uh, that's uh, a stated target, yes. Yes. And uh, that's a really ambitious target because it's just getting started. Yeah. And uh, the things that are driving the green hydrogen uh, are uh, the big amounts of wind power coming online. So last year was the biggest year yet for wind power uh, increasing in Finland, and it's going to continue to grow. And uh, the challenge, of course, with wind power is that it's intermittent. So right. it's not... It's not always windy. Right. So that's where the green hydrogen comes in. So uh, the green hydrogen is able to exploit the power, you know, when it's windy and kind of store it. The other option would be batteries, but green hydrogen is good there. And then on the green hydrogen side, there's a lot of other stuff happening in the whole ecosystem. So it's really uh, starting to become viable now. Mm -hmm. And Finland is super well positioned to exploit that over time. Yeah, you've you've been ahead of the curve for a while, haven't you? I know that uh, I like to, to drop in our conversations how you're a best-selling author, that you were part of Greener Data um, that launched last year, and um, we're working on round two, I believe. But, um, you know, I think sustainability has always been at the core of your message and, and what you, you know, what you stand for, uh, and with good reason. Absolutely. Uh, so... Uh... We've been uh, certified climate neutral already for several years. So uh, that means that we're, we're kind of a way ahead of the pack where you've got these other uh, companies doing packs and thinking about how to get there. We're already there. So what we like to think about is how can you be carbon negative even? Right. And uh, bring in, you know, uh, work on the ecosystem, on uh, being more sustainable, uh, bring in uh, all of the employees to think about what we could do to be more sustainable and things like that. And, uh, you know, from, from the perspective of, of a data center, you can't uh, really find a more sustainable location than the Nordics with, with yeah. the access to the green power, as mentioned. Right. 
So what else? What's what's next on the horizon for you? I mean, it's sort of feels like one thing after another, but what's next? Looking yeah. Uh, so if we talk about Finland specifically, um, we have been working a lot with three different segments, enterprise, uh, hyperscale, as, as well as high performance computing. And now uh, learning a little bit, shall we say, from uh, from Iceland, where they've got uh, quite a lot of success with uh, high performance computing and uh, talking to, uh, for instance, financial sector about those uh, uh, opportunities. That's where I think uh, uh, we're going to go. And what we're going to do is uh, look at growth within Finland. So look at, look at new sites. But Vern Global, of course, is looking more at uh, becoming a leader in the Nordics. So, so uh, expanding in Finland will be an integral part of that. Right. Great. Well, we look forward to to hearing more. And you know, I think I'll, we're we still have quite a bit of this week left. So, for those people that are watching this live and may want to connect with you, how can they reach you? Or if they've missed you, you know, this week, how can they? they find you after this event is over sure so uh go to vernglobal.com uh there's also a section for finland uh finland.vernglobal.com so perfect yeah they can find you there yep and we'll see you again i think in another country in a couple of weeks and we'll probably talk That's again right. uh, it's always a pleasure to catch up with you and um, thank you and congratulations again and thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV Live today, coming to you from Data Cloud Global Congress in Monaco. Until next time.